Now to start things off, let's have a literal weapon showcase. So, after I finish, eh, wow, fucking great, great start. So after I finished last time, as you can see, I got busy and I made some boss weapons. Now, I don't have the decks to use this. I am one point off, which kind of sucks. Um, same with the large sword of searching. I can use the dozer axe by two-handing, and I'll show off that too. Right here. Actually, you know, it'd be nice. Selecting a weapon, that'd be cool. So, the Morian Blade. This is from the Soul of the Storm King. You need a straight sword of some description to make this bad boy. So let's have a look, shall we? One, two, yep, straight sword. Well, it's a light sword, so yeah. We overhead, into the overhead. Roll. Yep. Rolling. Uh huh. Backstep R1. Yeah. Backstep R2. Even though it's blatantly obvious, it'll be that. Yeah, don't expect anything fancy with the uh, moveset. It's what you know by now. If you've been watching up until this point, yeah. And we can fast roll. Now, the main cool thing about this weapon is... In here, the description. A gnarled, thorny, large sword of black quartz. Forged from the soul of the demon Storm King. It is actually the marrow of the storm beasts. How about that? These beasts take pleasure in the wielder's peril, and in these situations, the blade's attack is greatly increased. Yeah, so this is the hyper mode weapon. You get the 30% health, you get, gain a buff. That powers up everything, not just the sword. So that's rad. Large sword of searching. It's a normal curved sword, in spite of looking like it's a, um, a great curved sword, a curved great sword. That was a back step. That's pretty cool. I think. I don't know how I got that attack. Wasn't... Okay, yeah, that's the push. Yeah, so curved swords like in Dark Souls 1 and 3. Well, some curved swords, like in the other games, don't have a kick on some of them. They have the back step. It's about what you'd expect by now. Main cool thing about this bad boy... A large curved sword made of crystal with an enormous crescent blade. Unfortunately, it's not a crescent weapon though. It was forged from the soul of a demon old hero. The rickety blade has become severely weathered due to years of fighting. The old hero is also called the searcher of storms and its soul brings its wielder good fortune in obtaini obtaining more items. So this I will actually keep on me for firing purposes. And it's not actually that heavy. Yeah, actually, you know, eight is kind of heavy. Dozer Axe, here we go. It's the same as a Great Axe I'm going to be using. Like, it's a Great Axe. It's a Soul's Great Axe. Yeah. It's exactly what you'd anticipate by this point. A tremendously heavy, bladeless axe. This weapon was forged from the soul of the Demon Vanguard, a single swing from his axe would crush a human. So, in the meantime, have a look at that damage difference. I should mention, yeah, I put my great axe on the crushing infusion, and thus it is, it is the strongest weapon I have. I tried with the Mirden Hammer, it just didn't really get anything. So, if I'm going to two-hand, could use this. It's um considerably heavier, though, and given I'm going to be getting, getting some heavy items in the next world, I will stick with this. Uh, knuckles, not a boss weapon, but, you know. So, same as what we saw with um, the Fist of God, the Hands of God. Yeah, used by the Scale Miners. I believe it says that. A Fist weapon. It has the shortest reach of all weapon types, but it strikes quickly. Stone Fang's rough blacksmiths love this weapon and sometimes let loose and slug it out. Yeah, so they're into that. Meanwhile, Scraping Spear. So this is the thing they got shot out of the boss room when we unlocked it all the way back in part 3. Wait, part 4, what am I saying? Part 3 was... yeah. 
No, that ended on just going to get a Strava. Alright, so it's a spear move set. Nothing much to it. 150 damage isn't anything too amazing, but it's it's alright. A long spear with countless forms on the tip. It was forged from the soul of a demon phalanx. It scrapes away at the opponent's equipment and lowers its durability. There's very limited applications for it in-game. But for PvP, yeah, totally. Um, there's one boss it'll work on. And they're not technically the boss. Meanwhile, the Lava Bow. Formed from the soul of Armor Spider. Now, I don't think it'll show it, but let's see. Yeah, no, I won't show it. But there is something cool it does. Let's see if the description mentions it. A longbow with limbs like a spider's leg. Well, no shit. It was forged from the soul of the demon Armor Spider. It imbues all arrows fired with fire attributes. So that's pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so it doesn't list it there. No magical um, bonus. But at the same time, that's all circus ball, you know. It's fire damage. And even then, it technically isn't the thing that has the fire damage. It's just an innate buff. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to dump these. And for your sake, I'm going to make a cut. And I will see you in one, 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 two. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh boy. Okay, this wasn't planned, so this is sick. Oh yeah, one thing I should mention. I picked this up quite a while back when I was farming over in 1-1 for the guillotine axe. No dice, unfortunately, but we got that anyway. Meanwhile, a knight shield. A shield of a Bolotarian knights. Proof of their commission from the king. Using Stonefang's hardened iron. It is heavier and stronger than a regular, a re regular metal shield. So, pretty solid. I guess this is kind of like the Black Knight shield. In the context of, I, well, I don't know how good the fire block is, and hell, we can't find out. Um, but it's got a really good block, in spite of not being a great shield. So anyway, onwards. Yeah, nah, totally cool and normal. Nothing weird about that. <laughs> Nothing at all. So yeah, welcome into a bit more of the palace. We're getting to the part that's not, well, you know, a typical fort. Now, you're getting some, you know, a little bit different in terms of archi architecture. This is what I can kind of imagine, like, I can imagine the remake art style fitting this a lot better. But yeah, anyway. Oh yeah, dogs, my boy. So that's cool. So let's see if my great axe got to work, shall we? Okay, we don't have hyper armor right now, so fuck it. Two hand. Yep. Huh. So technically my weapon is underpowered. Groovy. Come on. Well, this is going to go amazingly then. This is going to go really fucking swell, isn't it? I was purposely limiting myself. Amazing. Oh well. It's, uh... It's kind of similar to that courtyard from Dark Souls 3. You know, where we have Wing Knight walking around like... Yeah, it's a halberd instead, but still... Man, I wish I could use the Wing Knight Halberd like, you know, how they do. Oh, really? Slave Shield. Anyway, that's interesting. Huh. Wonder who that was for. Hey, there's an, there's an item down there, you know. Past the uh, shitty frame rate. Oh well. Now here's the fun thing. 
Cutscene is about to begin it. There is a lizard just there. And some enemies are going to show up too, so that's great. Anyway, onwards. Come here, shitlord. Oh cool, it didn't actually pop. Wait a minute, hold the fuck on. Why didn't that trigger? Normally it does. I obviously didn't go far enough ahead. Huh. Okay, I guess the trigger's got to be... Yeah, there. So I just missed the trigger. Sick. Yeah, sorry about that. So that happened. Um, our present is being great. Our presence is being graced with the presence of my cat. Hurrah! Anyway, how you how you guys doing? There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I should have uh, upgraded this a little more. Wouldn't have been cheating or anything. So yeah, as you can see, the damage is get. Well, as you can see, as you can see, the damage is starting to get for real. They're doing pretty decent damage, but you probably saw that from the dot. So you know, no master's ring though. Uh huh. What do you got, buddy? And how about you? Aha! Uh -huh, I see. Very interesting. I mean, I lied. It's not really. But I can't be rude. You know, he gave a shot. None of you. Well, not right now. If we run up, of course. Son of ephemeral eyes. There he is. They dropped the chrism axe. The big old thing there. They are wielding. It's okay. It's not as good as the normal great axe, I believe. Yeah? Aha. Uh -huh. Any other points to make, gentlemen? No? Okay, cool. So yeah, you are probably noticed. I still have fireball equipped. So that's neat. But I've also got regen, so that's cool too. So we're putting that on. Now... You can go down these stairs like I'm going to, but there's this cool little drop you can do there. As you can see though, we have some snipers. Let's plonk them. What the hell? Oh, that's regen. I was wondering what the fuck's going on. And as we can see... Okay, you can't, but yep, there we go. There's one guy there. But anyway, for argument's sake, let's have a look. Now, what would... What would happen if we were to do this? Hey, buddy. So I guess these are technically the inspiration for how Chester fights in Dark Souls 1. They have a cool kick we haven't seen yet. They also have a ninja flip. If you haven't figured it out, it's a spy. No sapping of sentries, though, thankfully. None of that, for the meantime. I always like spy a lot. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the past. I like Spy, Scout, and Demo Man. Oh damn, I wanted to uh, do this. Yeah, so there we go. That's where our Spy friend was. And we can go that way. But instead we shall walk up, like walk up, climb up the ladder that'll take an eternity to a dead end. Because no illusory walls. How you doing, buddy? What's that? Let's give you the old plonk. Aha, I see. Interesting, mate. Interesting. New moon grass. Pretty sure we looked at that before. But we shall in a second, just in case. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Let's, let's look at the grass in the meantime. Yep. Okay, you know what? Maybe we didn't. The effect of moon herbs changes according to the condition they're in. New moon herbs are collections of wilted herbs that did not decompose even after many years. 
So yeah, new moon grass is pretty fucking sick. As is the dark moon grass. I can't remember which is rarer and more useful. It's whichever one is below. That's a nice moss. That's cool. It's not quite like that moss in a cathedral ward. That's the trigger for the dogs, though. A little further. We'll just do this. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, great. There is one behind me. Yeah, that's the kick I was referring to. We gotta get out of here. All right, comrades. Yeah? What else? What else you got? Pull up, tell me what you got. Back to rise. But you two, girl. Back to war. But the truth be told. Eat shit. Now that my passion flows. Ah. Oh. So yeah, that's the guy we shanked. With a bow. Watch yourself. Danger lurks around every corner. Yeah, good. That's where I came out from. The uh, camera made that a little weird. Hey, buddy. Aha. Uh -huh. But how about... Come on. Drop your shield. Perfect. Perfect. You learned. Eventually. Huh. Can we see him? Hey, surprise, surprise, it's an ambush. Couldn't see that coming. Which building are they on top of, though? Hmm, okay. Maybe we aggro them sooner somehow. No, there we go. We'll look at the secret dagger, don't worry. We have to get at it, sadly. Hmm, thank you, girl. There we go. Shot of clearstone and claws. Hey, cool, we have a pair now. Groovy. So let's look at that beautiful face. While I look at the secret daggers. They are right down here. Yeah, there we go. Secret throwing dagger. A unique short katana altered for throwing. Throw it horizontally in order to attack. An unbelievably evil looking weapon used by spies in service of the king. So, I guess those guys are like the, the uh, what would you call it? The ancestors of the suspicious shadows from Dark Souls 2. I mean, more obviously they're, you know, they're pretty much every thief enemy that's existed after this point. But the fact that they've like got weird Japanese um, looking tools makes me think of the suspicious shadows. Now doing this will save me some headaches in a moment. You know what, we're not going to hit him because, well, I don't know how that's going to pan out. Ah, oh, nice. Damn it. But what if? No, okay, no. You do that, buddy. Hmm. No knee. Can we hit him through here? Damn it. Of course not. Fuck it. Oh well, that sucks. So they broke the stuff that's meant to be blocking it. Wait, no, no, stuff doesn't block that entrance. Yeah, survival's good even with our pitiful, pitiful magic stat of 10, I believe. 10, yeah. So those guys will hurt even more so than the original Red Eye Knight. He's still pretty tough though, that one. Outside a building that has nothing to do with anything important. You know that one. Where I died. Surely a high level enemy wouldn't be guarding anything incredibly important at the start of the game or anything. That'd be nuts. Yes, I know sarcasm isn't cute. Not like this. Yeah, we can't parry this. Catch it. Now there are no enemies upstairs. From memory. But I could be- Oh, Drinkling! No, no, it's just a merchant. Sup, man? Just give me one sec. Fat boy's over here. Ah, yes. Now, why do the kids call this weapon? I believe it's the base cannon. Let's have a look. So, we, al we already know the claws. 
Meanwhile, holy shit, we can use it. Crazy. Yep, that's a John Dad. So we'll we'll uh, do a weapon showcase in a second. Don't worry. Meanwhile, sup man, missed you. Yeah, so that was weird because apparently he was meant to disappear as soon as I beat Tower Knight, and he never did because I went back to two two for farming purposes, and to like get the wing spear and spike shield and shit, and he was just sitting there. So I could have earned all the armor legit after all that. <sighs> of course. Ah, we meet again. Fancy that. Hope you find something that suits you. I mean, well, I found this big ass sword, so you tell me, man. Let's have a look. Late moon, turpentine, full moon, throwing knives, crescent moon, half moon, fire bomb, soldier's lotus. And all the weapons you know and love with the brand new introduction of the night sword. The Night Shield. And I oh have yeah, a Crescent Axe. Yeah, so I'd like to get these as drops from the other character uh, from the other enemies. Instead of having to buy them here, but you you know you always can. So let's have a quick look at this. Knight Sword, the straight sword, used by the Boletarian Knights, as proof of the king's commission. So same as a shield. Yet yeah, same as a shield, except instead of a shield, it's heavier than a standard straight sword. And has higher attack power. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Strength weapon in this game. Crescent axe. A long handled large axe with a crescent blade used by the fat ministers with their faint smiles. Its heftiness shows the unbelievable power of the ministers who wield them. I'm being rather animated for some reason. Yeah, we saw the shield. Yeah, that's all. Bolts of multiple descripts. Yeah, we've seen all of these. We got the heavy bolts with the heavy crossbow back in Latria. And he still got plate. Anyway, time for a conversation. The king, he's gone mad like the rest of them. Though perhaps he was mad in the first place. I can never tell with those eccentric royal oafs. It is the end of Great Bullet in Hell. Okay, that's the same. Though perhaps he was mad in the first place. Yep. Hard times, eh? I'm sure you'll turn things around. <laughs> Neat. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I, hmm, I'm trying to remember, trying to remember, where else you can get this sword from. I feel like you can buy it from him, but obviously you can't. Maybe it's after a certain point. I don't remember, because I'm pretty sure the great sword, the Zwahander, isn't a one-off. So, he's just content to fuck around there, not do anything, so let's have a look. One. Two. So, it's a Dragon Bone Smash and Move set. So, pseudo Great Axe, effectively. Chop. <laughs> I like that. Oddly specific, but it reminds me of, like, a lot of Wii, yeah, Wii era games. We ha like, what was it, um, it was one of the Resident Evils, I think it was Umbrella Chronicles, where the proto-tyrant just puts his giant meaty claw through the crown. Just clips through. You know, good shit. An oddly specific thing to, you know, be reminded of, I know, but yeah. Yes, meow indeed. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Could use it, but... I am, you know, quite content with my great axe. Yeah, so if we didn't have the thief ring... The little posse we took out, and our fat friend over here, yeah, they would have started shooting at us. Oh yeah, as you can see, hold on, can we? Let's have a look. Also oddly specific, but that, this reminds me of Tomb of the Giants. If you aggro a black knight underneath, he can't get through the fog wall, he'll swing unlike our friend down there. Or there, I should say rather. Uh huh, so that was our mate from earlier. Let's see if we can snipe him. No. Nope. Yep, got him. Gotcha. There's one of them. Okay, he's having a walk, no wonder. Now he should have a boulder of some description. Well, ball. Let's have a look what he does. Oh, we can't hit him. Oh well. Yeah, let's aggro fat boy, shall we? Look at him go. 
You'll get a nice shot of that up close, don't worry. And thankfully my cat has decided to go chill on the bed. So that's nice. Alright, here. Let's have a look. Pretty sure these guys dropped as why. The great sword, sorry. Yep. Not quite as wide hander, but cool nonetheless. Yeah, so I probably should have got rid of some of some of the, gra the, the fucking Christ. I should have got rid of some of the grass, but it, I didn't really realize how much I had. Huh, so there's that. Right here. So there are some soldiers up there. There's a kind of pointless ladder here too, though. Yes, that's some um, solid advice. We have to climb up there or climb down, optionally, for an item, though. Alright, come on. We're nice and safe here. So show us what you got. I fucking love their waddle. <laughs> Look at them go. Do it, fat boy. <laughs> then you fat boy sound. Right about now. The fat boy fucker. Check it out now. Look at that poise. Look at that hyper armor. Puts puts all those Havel moms to shame. Havel moms. Or Havel mums, I should say, rather. Fireball! No, you fucking don't. Groovy. Iron ring of keys. Let's have a look, shall we? They all look the same. Huh. Cool. Okay, so I'm starting to see that little optional thing we can go do. Cool. So we'll go a little further ahead, and then I'm actually going to backtrack. For like five seconds. Probably not worth it, though. Yeah, no, it's not worth it. There's a thing you can change if you head back to the Nexus. After freeing someone. There's two people to save in this world. I mentioned someone really cool, and a magic teacher, who is also cool. We have Proto Sigwood, and we have Proto Quilana of Isaac. Or Proto Kala, I should say, if we're gonna just be so super direct. Speaking of directs, boy, wonder who's gonna be added to Smash Bros. That's gonna be fun to see tonight. I almost wanted to be a new Fire Emblem character just to see people shit the bed. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I don't even really care about Fire Emblem that much. I've only played what, like, I tried, what, a little bit of Path of Radiance at a mate's place. I, um, I played Awakening, and I had a copy of Conquest. Of Fate's Conquest. Um, and it's one of the two games I have ever lost in my, sing in my fucking life. The other one was Omega Ruby. Um, and given, you know, Ruby and Sapphire, well, Ruby was my first Pokemon game. I love that remake quite a bit. I bought both, thankfully, so... You know, and Sapphire had become my main file, so I didn't lose anything, uh, thankfully. I lost a few of the guys that bred that I was playing through the game with. Like a 6 IV Sceptile, so that was, uh, that was great. Oh well. Anyway. I was gonna joke, I've been pretty solid about talking about gameplay mechanics and all that. Um, yeah, I probably should have said that nice and early of, like... Well, this is going to be a more factual sounding LP over here this time. Where less jokes and less haha. -ha. You know, like uh, DMC Devil May Cry versus DMC itself. Yeah, normal DMC. So that's Tower Knights Arena over there. And these are places we cannot get to. That really... I don't know why, but it's got to be the textures and it's the um, kind of architecture. But it really reminds me of Crown of the Ivory King. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. Can we roll the boulder? Let's try. We could not. Well, I fucked it up at least. Pretty sure you can, if you do. So, the main thing I was considering doing was... If we go save a person now, who is in that locked door before Tower Knight... Um, if we go back to the Nexus, they'll have some lines of dialogue. But, apparently they get overwritten. Um, if we save someone first. Who most people no doubt will save first anyway. You know what, I should have healed properly. Okay, that missed. 
Okay, so an R2 should finish, but he's going to go for a charge most likely. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Great job, me. Oh, here he comes. R2. Eat shit. Oh, really? Interesting, mate. Interesting. That's a fucking lie. It's not really. Not at all. Okay, I guess we'll fucking do the drop. Yeah, I guess we'll circle back after all. And as a reminder, yeah, I'm human, so I can totally be invaded. Not that I think anyone's here, but there's only four people on the server I can access. Well, the region I'm in. Because, you know, Australia is totally Europe and all that. Yeah, that's how that works. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone was here, so I don't think we're getting inv invaded today. But, hey, I wasn't expecting it in Stonefang either. So... Down there is Fat Boy. You can see his shadow, I think. No, that no, that's a fucking flag. Great. But anyway, we're gonna do this. Is it here? Yeah, there it is. And get a new weapon. I oh, asked yes, my favorite devil arm. <laughs> that's not even like a good joke or anything. I, is there anything in DMC that's like this? I don't know. I'm not. I'm a, I'm a fraud fan, so. Yeah, let's have a look at it while we go ahead. The penetrating sword. You may think it's just an innuendo, and yes, it kind of is. But there's more to it than meets the eye. A remarkably unremarkable weapon, which is a damn shame. I want, I want, I want. It's fast. We have some cool pokes. Yeah, we need a lot more decks for this, I believe. Yeah, it's decks for sure. Accept. That's a cool one. So that's weird why it's got that shitty rolling R1. Could be wrong, could be super good. Yeah, so it's pretty cool actually. I like the moveset. But let's have a look at the description in the meantime. A penetrating sword. A long straight sword used by the penetrator of one of the, who is one of the heroes of Boletaria. I was doing suck at fucking what's what's his name? Lecter from Yu-Gi-Oh. As the name states, Mr. Kaba, if frosts and its frosts are especially powerful. <laughs> I am dropping that, fuck it. Because of its irregular size for a straight sword, it requires great strength and technique. So yeah, 2216. So as you can see, we're being thoroughly trolled today. This is the third weapon. Including two of the boss weapons that we can't use because I'm one dex point off. Yeah, so penetrating sword. Um, it's got some cool thrusts. Um, sadly though, it's not very good on damage, in spite of what you'd hope. I think most um, straight swords will outclass it, which is such, which just fucking sucks, man. It's so cool looking. Um, it is in the Cinders mod for Dark Souls Three. Something I didn't mention last episode, I believe, weirdly enough, for once. Um, and it's pretty good there. Apparently it was overpowered in PvP, but I don't know who cares about PvP for that mod. 